Aloha friends, it's Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five reasons why you should get into wing foiling if you haven't tried it yet. The first reason is because it's the easiest way to get into foiling without using a motor. Basically, you can learn how to foil behind a boat or jet ski with a good instructor or on an e-foil board. Those might be the easiest ways to get started, but if you want to just use the wind and natural power, learn how to handle the wing, and then you can learn how to use the foil and stay up on foil for a long time. The second reason is that you can do it anywhere in the world. All you need is water that's deep enough for your foil, and you need some wind, and that's it. You can do it anywhere on a lake, on a river, on the ocean. You don't need waves. You don't need a big area to launch. You don't need people to help you. You can just pump up your wing, get on the water, and foil. You don't really need anything other than wind and water. So that makes it a great way for anybody to get into foiling. The third reason is it's so much fun. The sensation of flying over the water it's just indescribable. It feels almost like a superpower to be able to soar over the surface of the water, control it, uh, super smooth, low drag, no chatter. It's just an amazing sensation and once you get used to it, it's very addictive so be careful. Winging is also a gateway drug into many other foil sports so be careful about that as well. So once you get into it, you might want to get into other disciplines such as sub foiling, downwind foiling, surf foiling, kite foiling, pump foiling. There's so many different ways you can ride a foil and winging is just one of many ways but it's a great way to get into the other foiling disciplines. The fourth big reason to get into wing foiling is because you can tow yourself into waves and once you're riding the waves you can depower the wing and it just kind of sits next to you and you can ride the wave on your foil with minimal drag from the wing. So unlike windsurfing or kiting, you always have to like keep that wing powered up. When you're winging, you can totally put it in neutral. It just sits next to you and has a minimal amount of drag and friction. Uh, so you can surf almost unhindered with the wing. And then when it's time to kick out, you power up again and let it pull you back out. So you just catch wave after wave after wave and you don't need anyone else to tow you. You don't need to switch off with a partner you can just catch waves nonstop. And the fifth reason to get into wing foiling is because you get to join an awesome international community of wingers. Everybody's super supportive. Everyone's kind of new to the sport. It's not a very old sport. So people are very passionate and enthusiastic about it. They're happy to help you as a beginner. We all remember what it was like to learn just a few years ago for all of us. So welcome to the wing foiling community if you get into it. I hope you enjoyed these five reasons why you should get into wing foiling. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the Blue Planet Surf YouTube channel down below. We come out with a new video every Saturday. So stay stoked. See you on the water. Aloha.